Hi everybody, it's Chris Kent, and I want to talk to you today about improving your Microsoft Forms with branching. So a lot of times when you're creating a uh, form, you know, the tendency is to either ask too much information, uh, and then people filling it out or filling out a lot of extra information they probably don't need to, you know, fill out because it doesn't really apply to them in this situation, or you keep it a little more generic to try and make it a little less tedious to fill out and you don't quite get enough information, which means you got to follow up to get that later. Well, luckily there's a solution uh, to kind of have the best of both worlds with branching. So let's take a look at an example. So we've got this mail order ice cream feedback form. So in this case, uh, we send out ice cream cones in an envelope to anyone that orders it online. Uh, it's a wonderful business, but it has been having a few issues. So we're proactively collecting feedback. Uh, so we've got these kind of generic questions here, you know, your issue type, uh, your problem type, you know, a quick description and email address. Now this is working great. Uh, but the first thing our ice cream technicians have come back with is, hey, we need a little more detail, right? So if someone chooses the wrong flavor, we need to know what did they order and what did they receive, right? So let's collect that information. So fortunately, we can just come in here and we can add that here. We click on a question to add a new one right after it. We'll hit add new. We're going to add choice. We're going to say, what did you order? And we're going to say you ordered uh, chocolate, right? Uh, we're going to some auto suggestions of vanilla and strawberry. That sounds wonderful. And then, because I don't want to type out again, I'm going to copy that question. And I'm going to say, what did you receive? And that allows me to have that same set of choices in the same way. So that's great. And if I preview that, hey, there we go. I'm asking the questions. I'm all good, except for the people filling this out. If I say ice cream arrived melted, what I ordered and what I received has no bearing on the fact that it melted. Not really. And I don't really need this information uh, on my end either. So why make people fill it out? So let's introduce branching to make that work better. So the way you do branching is uh, you can think of it as go to statements, right? So it's uh, if you do this, then go to here, right? So in our case, we want to say, unless you pick wrong flavor, everybody else needs to just go straight up to the description question, just skip questions three and four. So we go to the question we want to branch from and we click on it to edit it. Click on these three dots at the bottom right and we choose add branching right here. And then by default, everybody just goes to next. And instead, we're going to say, yeah, go to description. If it's ice cream melted, if it's wrong flavor, uh, we're going to say, what did you order? If it's gross, then we're going to say description. And if it's other, we're going to say description. Now, when we preview that, you'll notice that we're only asked the first two questions because we're only shown basically up until a decision has to be made. So in this case, we choose ice cream arrived melted. Form works exactly like before. You just ask question number three is description. Question number four is the email address. But if you pick wrong flavor, now you get our extra questions. Um, and it read numbers questions five and six here. And so it looks totally normal to the end user, but then we only collect that information when it makes sense, which is awesome. Um, and this works great, and that's all there is to branching. But, you know, our ice cream technicians will come back and say, oh, thank you so much for that information. We love it so much. But you know what else we need? If someone says it's gross, we really need to quantify that. We need to know, you know, how gross was it? So let's add another question, right? We've we've just watched this video. We know all about how to do branching, so no problem. We come in here, we're just going to add it here. Another question right here. We're going to say it's a rating. And in this case, we're going to say, uh, how gross was it? All right, and we'll let them provide a nice star rating there. Uh, and that seems fine. If we preview that, right, we still have our branching in place. And so if you choose ice cream arrived melted, you don't know. Right, we don't see anything there, which is what we'd expect. If you pick wrong flavor, we can see what we expect. Twas gross, we don't see anything. Wait, what was that on the wrong flavor? You'll notice here now we have an issue here where it's showing here. So let's get that corrected. So we want it to show up when it's gross and not any other time. So let's take a look. If we come back to our branching and we say that add branching again, we see, well, here's our first problem. Twas gross is jumping ahead to the description as well. We need to go to how gross was it. That solves that issue. Uh, but the other issue is uh, when we go to wrong flavor, we just start at question three and go on, right? So it's going to ask how gross was it. So to prevent that, we go to question four. We're still in the branching, so we can click question four and say instead of go to next, we'll just jump ahead to description, description, and description. And now when we go back and we preview that, now we can see that we'll choose ice cream where I've melted. Exactly what we'd expect. Wrong flavor. We get those two questions and we'll make a decision on that one exactly as we'd expect. And finally, if we choose twas gross, hey, how gross was it, right? And we can rate that and go on as expected. So again, branching is a great way to add some nuance and to avoid a tedious extra entry for your users in Microsoft Forms. So check it out.